The GoPro 7 White, should you buy, sell, or keep it in 2021? Let's get into it right now. In my other video, I talked about if you should keep the GoPro Hero 8 black in 2021. But right now, let's talk about the GoPro 7 white. Look at it, it's silver, it's not white. I mean, the, the lettering is white, but it's still, okay, it's white. What should you do with this? Is it worthless in 2021? It was released in late September of 2018, so it's two years old. It's gonna be three years old, not until a, almost another year. So is it really worth it right now? Or should you dump it? Is it something you just throw away? Well, here, let's talk about it. Here's some footage I shot with the GoPro 7 White, which you'll see right here. If you look at the footage, the footage is good. Mountain bike, mountain bike riding. This is actually in Helena Ridge in Montana for those that like mountain biking. Check out some of my mountain biking videos. Beginner mountain biker, by the way. And what you'll notice is that the footage is pretty good. I mean, with a little bit of color correction, yes, it was colored in post. You'll be able to see that the quality of the 7 white is actually pretty good. It's actually able to hold its own against the GoPro Hero 8 Black. There is a difference, obviously, with the 4K that makes a difference, but the 1080p on here and what GoPro was able to engineer, technology, their R&D, it's still a quality camera, and it just depends what are you trying to do? What do you want to do with it? The thing about the about the white is the battery doesn't pop out. So if you see that right there, the only thing that you can take out is the the disc, and then you have your charger right there. That's one major flaw to the seven white, which means that you only have the battery life it has on it, and there's ways to think about like why would they do that well obviously because you can upgrade to something better that you can take out the battery black you take that out make a bunch of uh, mods with it and able to buy the extra batteries along with that the white you can't do that so if you're someone that's just looking to do a few photos travel photos vacation photos or, or videos and you're not looking to be a high-end user of it, meaning you're gonna be taking multiple videos and you're gonna be using this constantly and you don't need to constantly recharge it, maybe the 7 white is for you. Maybe you can get value out of it. Again, if you're trying to monetize, if you're trying to make money with it, if you're trying to edit it and put it together in some short form or even a long form production with it, then this definitely isn't for you. Maybe you should sell it if you if you have it. Maybe you shouldn't keep it. Maybe you should not buy it if you don't have it already. Right now, you can get the GoPro Hero 7 White from, here's that, Amazon for 160, Walmart for 190. You can even get it on sale at, well, Sam's Club is selling it for $200, 199. So it's, it's waterproof. So it has that factor with it. But again, I'm not sure if this is it. Again, for you. And when you hold it in your hand compared to the 8, the 8 just feels, it is heavier, but there's a different quality feel to it. It feels like this thing, it's rugged. This thing will get you through it. And this thing is a, a tough customer. It is waterproof up to a certain amount of, of depth, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to be there forever. It just feels like it's a vintage piece that one day we'll look at and say, hey, that was a kind of cool silver looking GoPro. So it depends what you're doing. If you're looking to get something affordable for low cost, go with the GoPro 7 white, especially if you're not sure what you're gonna do with it. If you're 
looking to buy money or, or spend money on the more expensive one and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get maximum value out of it and then you don't do anything with it. What was the point in spending that extra 200, 250, even $300, the accessories for it? It, it makes no sense. But if you're, if you're looking to do things in increments, get started, get your feet wet, try to figure this thing out because with the small screens, I mean, that's one thing. And I know there's like the complaint with touch screens not working. They've, they've been all right for me not the perfect source it's not designed to do that it's designed to take videos or pictures pretty quickly and and give the audience a point of view as if they were there so if that's something along the lines that that what you're thinking then then go ahead and pick one of these up but if not if, if you know for a fact if you're like you know i'm going to be able to get more value from it from an eight or a nine then save your money save up and get that eight or the nine.